Well, piles of laundry, dirty dishes, floors that need cleaning. Do robotic engineers say help is on the way? Listen to this. His name is Neo. Introducing Neo, the robot that's about to steal your girlfriend and maybe even your job. I don't think a robot's ever made me this uncomfortable. Look at its calf. It's called the Neo Beta from a company called One X, and it's just designed to, I guess, hang out with you in your house. What the f man? Stop playing with my f house. Go in that corner and go think about what you did. Can you just grab me a plate over there? You're gonna keep bossing me around. And put it right there. Intentional or not, One X Technologies had the most meme-worthy robots in 2024. But the technology is no joke, and the open AI-backed startup may be the first to bring humanoid robots into households at scale. The well-funded startup is one of the perceived leaders in the global race to mass-produce humanoids. Its flagship humanoid robot, Neo, and first-generation bot, Eve, have gained significant online attention throughout the second half of 2024. One ex-CEO, Bernd Brinich, just shared the company's recent progress developing Neo with Reuters during a visit to its Norway facility. This is the newest version of our humanoid uh, Neo, uh, who is going to be piloted in, uh, in homes. We're starting to roll that out now. And uh, this is going to be, in the long term, this will be doing your laundry, cleaning your house, tidying, and generally giving you back a lot of uh, time in life. Neo had its first big public appearance in March 2024 when it stood alongside creations from major robotics players like Boston Dynamics, Figure, Unitree, Agility Robotics, Uptronic, Fourier, and Sanctuary AI during Jensen Wong's keynote at NVIDIA's GTC AI conference. One X is taking a different approach than the companies it shared the stage with by focusing on household applications rather than industrial tasks. Recently at Slush 2024 in Helsinki, Brinich explained what inspired Neo. When I just started university, I had like a side gig job just to make ends meet. And I was cleaning for um, elderly people. And it was actually really sad because it struck me how many of the people I came to that had already cleaned, mm. even though they weren't, they were pretty old. So like they'd really struggled to do this, but then they could spend that 20 minutes where I was supposed to be there to just sit down and have a cup of coffee and talk to someone. Mm. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? When we look at yeah. this aging demography we have now, the shrinking working age, and we see it very, very well in healthcare mm. where we aren't able to give people dignity as they age. Uh, but I mean, it's all across society and in the next decade or even just next few years, mm. we need to have this incredible increase in productivity across society if we're going to be able to increase our standard of living mm. or at least keep it. Mm. When One X formally introduced Neo in August 2024, it was met with excitement and skepticism from some who questioned whether the robot was really a person in a suit. Robots are becoming more and more like humans. In November, a Neo Beta robot appeared as a guest cook on Chef Nick DiGiovanni's massively popular YouTube channel. One X detailed the behind the scenes process on its blog. During the demonstration, the Neo robot successfully prepared a steak while controlled via teleoperation. And if I borrow that? Yeah, let me just grab it for you real quick. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, perfect. So the dialogue was scripted to align with creative goals. The company said the demo was intended to showcase the future potential of its technology. In the blog post, One X said the only thing standing between Neo and a fully autonomous medium rare steak is the input data. The company also clarified that cooking features won't be immediately available in the first versions of the robot for safety reasons. One X has ambitious production targets for Neo. We're figuring out how to process right now, but what I can say is that we can manufacture this at a cost of a relatively affordable car. And then I'm not talking about a car that someone in Silicon Valley would buy. The company is testing a limited number of Neo units at homes to gather operational data and ensure safety in real world conditions. They're aiming to manufacture hundreds of the robots in 2025 and potentially scale to a million by 2028. To get there, One X is building out a facility in Moss, Norway for actuator manufacturing and robot assembly. 
The logistics of training robots for autonomous tasks in homes is one of the biggest challenges going to market. One X has assembled a diverse data set of demos from its first generation humanoid that provided a foundation. That data is used to train machine learning models to help Neo robots understand their surroundings and perform basic tasks. During early deployments, Neo robots will likely rely on teleoperation to start. Teleoperators would stand in for autonomy so Neo can learn enough by observing and mimicking human led tasks to work independently. Everything you see in Neo to some point is, is AI, right? From how it knows how to control its own body, from how it knows how to walk in a robust manner, to how to operate objects, how, how, how to do tasks, how to handle uh, interacting with people, body language, uh, language itself while speaking and audio. Um, all of this is modern AI applied to robotics. And what really is exciting about Neo and the pilots that we're starting to roll out now is to have these systems learn among people. Standing 1.6 meters or 5 feet 4 inches, the Neo robot weighs just 30 kilos, which 1X says makes it safe for households. The Neo walks at a pace of 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles per hour and can carry up to 20 kilos or 44 pounds, which is about what a mid sized microwave weighs. The current iteration runs between 2 and 4 hours with a single charge. 1X touts the robot's bio inspired design as a game changing safety feature. The robot has a soft outer covering, like a padded suit, to keep people safe if it bumps into them. Hey, could you and your friends tidy up here? We have some visits. While One X is busy developing a mass production ready version of Neo, its first generation robot is hogging attention. The company introduced Eve all the way back in 2018 when it was still operating under its original name, Alodi Robotics. It's mostly been used as a research and development platform and to gather data for future deployments. However, in November 2024, popular Twitch streamer Kai Sinat introduced an Eve robot during his Mafiathon 2 live stream. He said he bought the robot for $24,000. While the wheeled humanoid can operate autonomously, much of its actions appear to be controlled remotely. Am I like Will Smith? Is this like I am robot and I gotta kill y'all after y'all get it? Do y'all like turn bad eventually? The content has proven popular and clips of Eve interacting with celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Benny Blanco, and Chris Brown have gone viral. There's also moments 1X would probably prefer to not have out there. <laughs> Entering 2025, humanoid robots are becoming a status symbol, with Kim Kardashian apparently becoming the first celebrity to get an optimist. Can you do this? I love you. <gasps> You know how to do that? Okay. It's only a matter of time before the Neo robot is adopted by someone very famous. Who do you think it will be? Let me know in the comments.